We are gathering together unto Him. We are gathering together unto Him. Unto Him shall the gathering of God's people be. We are gathering together unto This Mass is offered in thanksgiving to Our Lady of Belimkani. Good health for George and Lily de Costa and family. And it's a first death anniversary Mass for the soul of Maggie Thomas. For these intentions and your personal intentions, I pray during this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. James, the Apostle of Jesus. As we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sinfulness, so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. As we all together say, I confess to so Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who consecrated the first fruits of your apostles by the blood of St. James, grant we pray that your church may be strengthened by his confession of faith and constantly sustained by his protection. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We are only the earthenware jars that hold this treasure. To make it clear that such an everlasting power comes from God and not from us. We are in difficulties on all sides, but never cornered. We see no answer to our problems but never despair. We have been persecuted, 
but never deserted, knocked down, but never killed. Always, wherever we may be, we carry with us in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus too may always be seen in our body. Indeed, while we are still alive, we are consigned to our death every day for the sake of Jesus, so that in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus too may be openly shown. So, death is at work in us, but life in you. But as we have seen the same spirit of faith that is mentioned in scripture, I believe and therefore I speak. We too believe and therefore we too speak, knowing that he who raised Jesus to his life will raise us with Jesus in our turn and put us by his side, you with us. You see, all this is for your benefit, so that the more grace multiplied among people, the more thanksgiving there will be to the glory of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap together. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. Our response. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The heathen themselves said, What marvels the Lord work for them? What marvels the Lord work for us? Indeed, we are glad. Our response, Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go out and to bear much fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The mother of the sons of Zebedee came with them to make a request of him and bowed low and he said to her, What is it you want? She said to him, Promise that these two sons of mine may sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. You do not know what you are asking, Jesus answered. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, We can. Very well, he said. You shall drink my cup, but as for the seats at my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted by my father. When the other ten heard these, they were indignant with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that among the pagans the rulers lord it over them, and their great men make their authority felt. This is not to happen among you. No, anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant, and anyone who wants to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Today we celebrate the feast of Saint James, the apostle of Jesus. Now there are two James. There are two apostles with the name James. Now who is this apostle James, whose feast we are celebrating today? So this apostle is differentiated with greater James. Okay, they mention it's a greater James. And he's the brother of John son of Zebedee. So this James and John, sons of Zebedee, about whom we are hearing in today's gospel. But we may wonder that why this gospel today? My dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel we see the weakness, human weakness, to crave for power and authority. Here we have the mother of sons of Zebedee, that is mother of John and James, who comes and put a request before Jesus to give place one at right and one at left in the kingdom of Jesus. And the other disciples are getting indignant, they are getting angry, because even they want that. That these two of them, they will get Saukar position, why we should not get that. So they are getting angry. My dear brothers and sisters, this weakness which they, John's and James had, is shown in Gospel of Mark where they themselves come and put this request to Jesus for the authority and power. They wanted to be close to Jesus in order to get power. But Jesus takes this episode to teach them the lesson in today's Gospel. He teaches them the lesson of servanthood. He tells them those who want to be the first must be the slave or must be the last. Those who want to be the leader, they need this leadership is of servant leadership. In the kingdom of Jesus, leadership is of servant leadership. And gradually, Saint James understands his mission. Saint John, Saint James understands the call of his apostleship, why he's been called and why he's been with Jesus. Because because he was continuously in the presence of Jesus, he overcomes his weakness and he did drink the cup which Jesus wanted him to drink. He became the first apostle to be martyred. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading of today, St. Paul tells us that we are earthen pots with the treasure in it and that treasure is Jesus itself. Jesus is that treasure and we are those earthen pots, fragile, we are weak, we are sinful. But being continuously with Jesus, we overcome our weakness. Again, the another statement of St. Paul, that you carry, you carry the death of Jesus in your body so that you can see his glory. And that is what St. James did. He carried the, body, the death of Jesus in his body and he, see, he could see the glory. He could be part of the apostles, he could be part of that glory. My dear brothers and sisters, what we learn from St. James is this, that even if we are weak, we are sinful, we are fragile, when we are in the presence of Jesus, uh, we overcome our weakness. We overcome our sinfulness and we become courageous to answer the call of Jesus. We are not afraid of our life when we are in the presence of Jesus. During this Eucharist, we ask St. James to intercede for us so that we may be close to Jesus and overcome from our sinfulness, from our weakness. Amen. United in one body with Jesus Christ the Lord, we bring to you our offering of bread and wine, O God. We are the body of Christ. We might expect a share in his sorrow. If we must rise with Him, united in one body with Jesus Christ the Lord, we bring to you our offering.
offering of bread and wine, O Lord. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His church. Cleanse us, Lord, by the saving baptism of your Son's Passion, so that on the feast of St. James, whom you will to be the first among the Apostles to dream of Christ's chalice of suffering, we may offer a sacrifice pleasing to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now, and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald Gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, Saint James, the Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heads to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your, your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Help us, O Lord, we pray. Through the intercession of the blessed Apostle James, on whose feast day we have received with joy your holy gifts to Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, tomorrow is observed the traditional Parents' Day in Bombay. We will have our usual Mass in church at 9 a.m. The Sunday school children, confirmants and first communicants will not have class tomorrow. They have a special video that will be sent to them. It's a video of felicitation and a prayer service for our parents. The little ones have been asked to prepare some greeting cards and to give them to their parents and grandparents. We hope to have a good time tomorrow. God bless us all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We sing to our Blessed Mother the mother of every priest, of every apostle, of every disciple. No one can live as an island journeying through life alone Since we are most loved by a mother Jesus gave us his own